everybody this is dr adam Rennie. i'm speaking with you today about watercress which i recently began thinking about because of its appearance in various detoxification protocols and i wanted to know what is it about watercress that helps us detoxify so i dug into some research and learned some interesting things first of all Watercress inhibits cytochrome P2E1, which is a liver detoxification pathway that actually helps process various environmental toxins. And so what happens is when the toxins are processed through this pathway, they make reactive metabolites that can cause excess inflammation. So having watercress in the diet seems to buffer this effect also it's a great antioxidant and it's full of flavonoids and one study i found showed that 85 grams per day of watercress would probably be a couple one to two cooked cups of watercress a day um, raised antioxidant status in the body after eight weeks finally the other aspect I learned is that it's a rich source of alpha linolenic acid, which is amazing if you think about a green leafy vegetable being a good source of omega-3 fatty acids. That includes the EPA and DHA components. So um, this is a powerhouse food that has a lot of nutrients, anti-inflammatory effects, Finally, recently, I learned it's rich in quercetin, which stabilizes histamine. So a little bit more about watercress is that it has a little of a pungent taste to it. So if you cook it, um, if you eat it raw, it's going to be kind of pungent. But cooking it makes it into a sweeter taste. One of the best ways to eat it is to... Um, saute it with like olive oil and garlic and and a little bit of salt and take a couple bunches of it and saute it and use it as a side so i think it's it's really good to have these types of foods in your diet especially just on a regular rotated basis but also if you're going through some type of detoxification protocol or if your body's dealing with excess inflammation so that's my little tidbit on watercress i just want to share one more thing here with you um, looking at this really great article by minich um, and she talks about watercress and garlic are cytochrome pe1 inhibitors and so this is a pathway that um, a lot of toxicants use, um, our body um, uses to process toxicants. And um, if this is too upregulated, it can cause extra inflammation in the body. And so there's a lot of other nutrients that help with that, such as NAC, green tea, black tea, dandelion, chrysin, medium chain triglycerides. So again, looking at uh, this as being a excellent source of of uh, nutrients for your body and also to help with your liver detoxification and anti-inflammatory food and I hope this was helpful this is Dr. Rindy and thanks for tuning in